Hello and welcome to the Microdimensions tutorial series for Volum, our 3D histology software for the reconstruction of serial sections. This tutorial will show you the basic reconstruction functionality of Volum. When you have started Volum, you will see a full view window in which later on the reconstruction will be displayed. In order to start a reconstruction, click the top left button of the status bar and select New Reconstruction. Now the reconstruction wizard has opened. It will guide you comfortably through the reconstruction process. Press the Load Sections button and navigate to the slides you would like to reconstruct. Alternatively, you can drag and drop them into the reconstruction wizard. The files you have selected are now ordered alphanumerically. This is important for the reconstruction result, so please make sure that they are in the right order. On the right hand side of the window, you can specify parameters related to the sectioning and imaging process. For example, in which sorting order sections were put on a glass slide and how thick they were cut. This is important, because only if the correct thickness is entered, the metrically correct results can be delivered. For images where meta information like the modality or pixel spacings is missing, you can specify them manually too. Now press the forward arrow to proceed to step 2 of the reconstruction process. Now you can see your slides and the sections that have been found on them. The sections are by default ordered in such a way that the first section is at the bottom of the slide, with all the other sections in ascending order from there on. By double-clicking on a slide, you can open the section editor. Draw a bounding box around the sections you would like to edit and then do a right-click. Now a context menu opens in which you can, for instance, change the order of the sections on a slide. You might have already noticed that on slide 3 the border of the glass slide has been scanned and, accidentally, been recognized as a section on the slide. To correct this mistake, just mark the section with a right click and a context menu will appear. Now simply select Delete section. If you know that in the cutting process some sections were discarded, you can insert placeholder sections. Just do a right click in the section editor and select Insert placeholder section. If you notice that your slides are in the wrong order, you can change that by simply dragging them to the desired position. When you are satisfied with the extracted sections, Press the forward arrow to proceed to the next step. You see now that all sections that have been detected before are automatically cut out of the slide. Please note that I have just aborted the process that is automatically started here in order to show you that the sections are cut out in exactly the way as they have been placed on the glass slide. So they might be flipped, rotated or even upside down. By clicking on the circled arrow next to the progress bar, I restart the alignment process. Please remember, this process would normally start automatically without any interaction. Once the alignment is finished, little green dots appear in the lower right hand corner of all sections. They indicate that the section is well aligned to both of its neighbors. If, for some reason, the automatic alignment fails to produce good results, which is indicated by yellow or red dots, you can do a manual alignment of these sections. Just double-click on the respective section and the manual alignment window will open. On the upper left-hand side of the window, you can see a number of buttons for the manual alignment. You can move, rotate and flip the section you want to align. 
If you press the control button on your keyboard, you can do finer movements and rotation. Hold control for flipping and you can do a horizontal flip. The backward and forward arrows are for undoing, respectively redoing actions. When you are satisfied with your alignment, make sure to use the checkmark button to apply changes and exit. To guide the manual alignment, the previous section is shown in the background. Now that you are done with the first alignment step, press the forward arrow to proceed to the next step in the reconstruction process. Step 4 of the reconstruction optimizes the previous alignment in such a way that minor tears and folds from the cutting process are compensated for. Now press the forward arrow again to continue. This is the fifth and last step of the reconstruction where the alignment can be pre-computed at higher resolutions to speed up display, export and analysis. Click on the checkmark button to accept the reconstruction and exit the wizard. Now the four view interface opens and you can see your reconstruction results. Now you have mastered the volume reconstruction tutorial. For more information about working with your reconstructed volume, watch the next video in our tutorial series. Please feel free to contact us for individual questions and pricing information.